Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you do like the content. Check out Discord as well. Also, there'll be a new link to some Udemy courses that I'll be making in the description box later on. So check that out if you have time. Um, so here you go. I'm a little sick, but I'm going to still, still do this somehow. And we're going to work on this console RPG. So today's plan is to work on the GUI class a little bit and expand that, explain how that will work, and then work on a new character class uh, real quick. So first step is to explain the GUI class. So my idea was to create an instance of this GUI class, some kind of singleton thing. If you don't know what a singleton is, Google that up. It's really good to know. Um, it's, it's a class that always only has one instance, so you can't create multiple objects of that class. It will always just be one, but we don't need that. What I'll have is a class as a wrapper type thing with a bunch of static functions inside. Uh, and these static functions, you can just call as you want, and it will easily just format the text as you want, and it will print that out for you. So it's going to be more of a formatting type, type thing here. Uh, so the first step, for example, if we create a public static string, public static string, um, let's see, print, or we'll just call it a uh, title, you know, title, because we're still going to have to do GUI dot title. So we'll know what that's about in case we have another function called title. And what this is going to take is a string, a uh, constant string. Here we go. I hate this. I hate that. I have to fix that. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We don't need that, actually. Uh, and then we're going to do return something like this. Uh, let's see. String um, title. We'll just call it. Let's just call it string. And then it's going to return the string. But we're going to format this in some way. All right. And we're going to use a bunch of string functions for this. There are many ways to format a string. Uh, but I just tested some stuff. And um, I just want to explain as well as I can. So what you can do is you can actually do this. So you can create, if you're just working with strings and all that stuff, uh, you can just add strings to stuff. You can also use a function called uh so if we say str equals string dot format and then we can do a bunch of stuff in here all right so what i could do is i could create some kind of a a thing here and then add my variable here and then keep building that string and whatever i put after the comma the first argument zero is going to be shoved into that position so i can just say string here and this will give me a um, a formatted string and put that into my original string variable. All right. And I'm going to just try this. So whenever I start this here, I'm going to say, uh, let's see. Let's just put that there. Um, GUI dot title. Let's say, welcome. And then we're going to console print that. And just see if that works. So there we go. So that's the way we formatted it. And whatever I put into that string variable shows up right there in between. That's a good way to do it, I'd say. There are different ways, like I said. We could just do that plus thing. This thing uh, makes it so you can do a bunch of stuff. You can add dates here. You can specify it as a date. All this other stuff that we're not going to use right now. We might use it a little later. Um, but just as a starting point, this is pretty good. So you can try try to work with this here. If you have a bunch of new lines, everything, you know, you can add new lines in here. You can do a bunch of stuff. So don't worry about that. It's, it's pretty flexible. Then there's something called a string builder. And we're not going to look at that right now. But you can create a string builder. And you can append stuff and build your own strings in, in different ways. So it's a little more flexible even than this. 
but those two ways are great uh, I'm just gonna use this for now so we're gonna need a title and then we're gonna need a menu option static menu option like that I'm gonna use the same format here uh, boom and then just copy this basically paste that and we're gonna format this differently so our string is pretty much gonna be something like that and that's gonna be the menu option and it's gonna be right there and we're gonna have a number for it uh, so int uh, number oh, why did I do a big I there int there we go so this is gonna be a number and a string um, okay that's great uh, string sorry there we go okay so uh, then the number itself is going to be in front and the way I'm gonna do that I'm gonna create a little uh, space here and I put my zero in there I'm gonna change this to one so how this is gonna look is we're gonna have the number option here what we're supposed to press and this is going to be our uh, actual string the name of the option so uh, option let's call it option instead or what do, what do we call it index maybe number was fine whatever I'll call it I'll call it index all right I'll call it index boom cool naming is always tough but there you go now we have a menu option we might want a menu title as well just copy paste this whole thing like that uh, menu all we have to do here is change this to menu title so good good we don't need that boom and the title is gonna look maybe like this and then we'll have our string here and then a new line I can't forget the new lines oh yeah we need to add the new lines to this as well so after each title pretty much gonna have two new lines after this one we're gonna have one new line after this also we might have a new line there and this is supposed to look something like that um, cool good 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 okay okay we like that cool so that's pretty much done if we go into our game state state game uh, the first thing that's going to be printed out is our, here we go, our uh, menu title. So what we can do is we can just say GUI menu title. And I'm just going to call it game state. Just so we know what's going on. And then we're going to do GUI menu option. Uh and that's going to be option zero and it's going to be uh, create character okay and we're going to do console right around all this uh, gy dot menu option minus one equals exit seems cool console console dot right let's just do right because we're controlling the new lines from inside here inside these functions I'm just gonna do that add that there add that there once we're good with this uh, we should be able to run this and we'll see if our okay that is game right uh, there we go okay that is printing so that's good uh, minus one okay that did quit all right cool that's because i'm adding a bunch of stuff here uh right in here let's just do state main menu like that i'm going to copy paste the stuff i just created in game and i'm gonna put that in main menu as well and uh, boom why am I putting it in between though? That's stupid. Let's put it on top. 
menu main menu okay create character and exit that's fine okay let's do the same thing in game i don't know where, what options we're gonna have right now but whoops what did i do okay sorry about that there we go okay good lord have mercy okay fine now we have all this stuff that's good that's real good um in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the character class so i'm gonna just go ahead and create a new class uh, add first the folder and we're gonna call this uh game gameplay something like that whatever and then we're gonna add a new class and we're gonna call this character it's a C sharp class and it's just going to be character here. And all this is going to contain is going to be everything that has to do with our character. And in the same fashion, we're going to create an enemy class. We're going to create items, all that stuff. Uh, but the character itself is going to be the thing that's holding all your levels, all your items, all your stats, everything. It's going to be your player, basically. Okay. And we're going to have our constructor, obviously. And then we're going to have a bunch of other stuff. Some kind of print to string function, all that stuff. Save, load, all these things. So it's going to be fun to, to work with this. I can actually remove that, actually. I don't want to have that. That's stupid. Okay. There you go, guys and girls. Well, thanks for this video. We did flesh out the GUI. I wish I, we had worked some more on this uh, in this video. But we'll have to get to that in the next one. Hopefully you had fun. We're getting to the nice, fun stuff with the character and everything. We're going to make sure we can play the game a little bit. It's really soon, and uh, it's going to be cool. And we're going to try to test out some C-sharp functionalities as much as possible. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard. And take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.